Okay, this is how I make the flip flop fly. Uh, it's a take on the not your average popper, uh, which is made from a jandal. Uh, so this one actually looks like a jandal. Does the same thing, pops along the water. Hope we'll get you a nice GT or something. All right, so I've made a template out of plastic just to make my cuts a bit more uniform so quite easy I want three layers one for the top one for the bottom and one for the middle which houses the hook It's me. Now the top and bottom now the top and bottom are made with uh, top is one, two, three mil. Middle is one mil. Okay, so the middle is gonna house the hook. Okay, so bottom, <coughs> middle, and the top. Now they all look pretty good, but I like to go one step further, sanding stone on it. And Okay, so you see there getting a nice little sandwich effect. You don't have to do that, but it just makes a better looking product at the end of my opinion. Um, okay, so that's our top, that's our middle, that's our bottom. So we want to cut a portion of the middle out just guesstimating here and that is for our channel for our hook and for our tail flash so bottom through there that goes on top so 
the order I do it in is like this. I glue that onto there. With five minute epoxy. Okay, so take my bottom section and now work out with a size 2O hook where that is going to exit and the eye will be at the front and that exit will be about there. So cut a hole. That is where my hook is going to exit. Okay, next, take a 2 0 hook. So now we're going to set up the tail section. So, start off some thread. I use quite a coarse thread because I want that to grip inside the popper itself and I make quite a loose wrap on there. Come back a few times just to make it quite coarse and then I'm going to add on our tail here. I've got a few pink feathers. Using a bit of flash, probably half a dozen of each colour. Seal all that with a dab of super glue. Okay. 
Okay, that's our tail section. Okay, now put this in our hole that we made before. Feed it up there, like so. Back in the vise. Okay. Okay, now that channel is going to fill up in here. So what I do is, is I prepare this piece here just to make sure it goes in that channel. Okay, just using a bit of uh, five minute epoxy again. So now I'm gonna set this up for our middle and top layer. You don't want the heaps on because you don't really want it come spurting out, but you want enough so that it's gonna stay together get quite a bit in this uh, tail section here serve as an anchor okay and I just put a bit in that channel that we created by pre-gluing the bottom and middle layer then that all just comes together like so so it takes five minutes to cure so just sort of attend to it while it's Tacking up, when it starts tacking up, you can feel it's starting to stiffen up as well. Give it a good, nice couple of squeezes, and that's your, uh, that's your base for your uh, flip flop fly. Okay, so to make the uh, straps for the flip flop fly. Just using a tiny bit of foam cut with a razor blade. Uh, gonna fold it in half. And that's gonna go in there, so it's gonna cut a little hole in here to take that just down to the first layer. that out so it will work like so it will go in there that will go down there that will go down there so cut a tiny little slot your end straps okay and these have to be the right length so I'd say that it's the right length Go 
we'll go in there. So that's uh, what we'll have to do now is, is remove those, mix up a little bit of epoxy and set those. And there you have it. Okay, so we now have a pair of size two flip flop flies. <laughs> 